Hello, I'm Anthony, the Eclectic Chef. Welcome back to the channel and our test today or tasting of Kikusui Chrysanthemum Mist Junmoi Ginjo Sake from Niigata in Japan. This sake cost me $26.50 a bottle at my local large Asian supermarket. It's self-described as being on the light side, citrusy, and to be served chilled. I agree with all of that. This is a Junmai Ginjo, which tells us that it's only got rice, water, and koji in it, nothing else. The rice has a polish to 55%, um, and as you can probably see from this shot, that's pretty much the color of water. It's very clear. The first sip I found to be warming and comforting. It has a very light nose, quite crisp, very light flavor. Yes, the description citrusy is good, but it's not strong. Um, I would serve this with lightly seasoned poultry, fish, tofu, or sushi, or shish, or, and sashimi. Uh, strongly flavored food or strongly spiced food will overpower this sake. Um, I liked it. I tend to like sakes with a more body and flavor than this, um, but were I having a sushi sashimi party with people who were not necessarily accustomed to drinking sake, this would be the perfect choice to serve. Okay, now we've finished the taste test, let's talk a little about the sake itself and then later about the brewer. The name, Kikusui Chrysanthemum Mist Sake. Well, the name's right there. Kiku means chrysanthemum in Japanese and Sri, water. There's a little story that goes along with that from No Theatre. In a play, a No play, Kikujido, who is a hermit, lives to be 700 by drinking the dew collected on chrysanthemum leaves. Hence, now this brewer calls this chrysanthemum mist sake. It's a very evocative name. If we turn the bottle, you'll find the label is very descriptive about the taste profile of this sake, and it's accurate in my opinion. One thing I would encourage you to look at is who the importer is, Mutual Trading Company. And please take a look at their website there. That's very instructive if you're interested in sake. Mutual Trading Company was founded in 1926 to serve uh, Japanese families in the Los Angeles area. Today, it's the premier importer, manufacturer, distributor of Japanese food, drink, kitchenware, kitchen items. They're just a real powerhouse if you're interested in Japanese uh, cooking. Now, moving along the end, this taste graphic. Um, the thing that stuck out to me was how they say this sake has quite high umami. Um, I didn't notice that, but it's worth noting that the less you mill the rice, and this rice has 55% mill, um, the more umami you get. So if this had had, say, 90% rice remaining, we'd have much more umami yet. Because the amino acids that make up uh, or contribute to the umami stimulation are largely generated from the outside layers of the grain of rice. Here's a map showing the location of the Kikusui Sake Brewery in Niigata Prefecture. Niigata Prefecture has more sake breweries than any other prefecture in Japan. There's also a lot of rice grown in Niigata and snow melt provides most of the water so they're proud of the water quality here. The one thing I will point out to you, 
Um, Nagata is close enough to have been affected by the serious earthquake of a few days ago in Ishikawa Prefecture, the epicenter of which I've marked with a red arrow. So let's hope everybody there um, got away unscathed. Um, unfortunately, some people didn't. Um, looking at the brewery itself, it was founded in 1881. Today, it's still a fifth generation family run business. Now, as you look at the picture of the brewery, I'd suggest to you that the oldest part is probably off to the left, bounded by the trees and the river there, um, and has grown out to the right. Um, it's worth noting that the place was totally destroyed by first an earthquake and then a flood. Um, that wasn't exactly their time, was it? In the mid 60s. But here they are, and they're still brewing great sake. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you sharing it with your friends, giving us a like. Please feel free to comment, and we hope we'll see you back here soon. We've got a, a really interesting sake taste test coming up um, Arizona sake, petrified wood aged sake. It's expensive. I haven't tasted any yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again for watching.